mailing it in. Good Monday morning. Mailing it in is what happens when gifted athletes don't try very hard. They don't play their best. They just show up, expect that good enough will be good enough. Sometimes it is, sometimes it ain't. Vans are never satisfied when players mail it in. There's a subtle difference between fate and destiny. Fate is rooted in a deterministic way of looking at life. Everything that happens was preordained to happen. There's nothing that anyone can do to change it. Many Christians misunderstand God's will in a fatalistic way like this. The trouble with that is that it can lead Christians to mail in their spiritual lives. We, we listen to verses like these from Isaiah and we conclude that it doesn't matter much what we do. God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So what point is there in trying to discern God's will for our lives at this point in time with the future wide open before us? These verses tell us to trust in God's word, that it won't return empty, but it will succeed in the things for which God has sent it. Taking that too far, thinking fatalistically leads to just mailing it in. Who cares if a Christian listens to God's word or not, if everything is predestined? Destiny, it's a little different than that. It's a little different than fate. Destiny is rooted in a relationship. Destiny says that we've been gifted with distinctive gifts and that our lives are about discovering and living out those gifts. Life is going somewhere and our task is to discern where and to do our best to get there. From a Christian point of view, our ultimate destiny, our final destination, is life with God. But this isn't just a sweet by and by kind of destination. It's a destination that we're headed that direction right now. And it will be fulfilled in eternity. So yes, God's thoughts and ways are higher than ours. But God invites us to call upon him, to seek direction from him, to listen to him. And yes, God's word will accomplish what it will. But we're players in God working that out. We're, we're players, not pawns. We're real people, not robots. God's work, our hands. Mailing in the Christian faith is just not good enough. It isn't good enough for us, and it falls short of the good that God intends for us. But more importantly, it isn't good enough for the world around us. We can't just throw up our arms, call everything God's plan, and fail to show up for our neighbor. Instead, trusting in God's ultimate goodness day after day, we are called to do the absolute best we can at whatever we do for the good of the world. We're called to play to win. Gracious Lord, thank you for the promises that you speak to us. The, the good news that although you're always a bit of a mystery to us, you still draw us near to you in ways that help us and guide us. Lord, I will trust your word and I know that it carries your loving intentions for my life. Lord, I commit to doing the best I can and living out my destiny as your child for the good of my neighbor. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.